Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and guess who's sitting here? That is Natis. <laughs> she's sitting with me practically every time I make the videos nowadays. She's interested in reading as well. You would think that she's she's the witch's cat. Of course she is. Okay, well, this I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and um, Buddy Advice on Facebook. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe down here and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. I don't like the introduction to stay too long. I'll have to make a separate video for this so that you can see it on the main page. Um, thank you very much for becoming a, a, a cyber babe. And you'll be officially a cyber babe when you join us live. We don't only do the cards there, but we also support each other. Okay, so um, if you like to have a, a, a specific question answered, then use the super chat in the live sessions, and that means that you give a donation and then your question will be answered. If you need an extensive reading, then please go to the description box below this video, and then you will see the email address and more information uh, from most from the monthlies, definitely um, to describe the video and what the video is about and the email and the, the email is under every video that goes out um, and is publicized it is charlie's angel tarot and you can also see the email address in the videos um, at gmail.com okay let's get started this is your reading for the 4th of um, october we are well uh, in October, we're on our way in October. We've got career, happiness, love, success, or wealth. You can choose any of these um, houses and the cards below, or you can take it from one to five, okay? It's up to you. Then we've got, today we have uh, Talking to Heaven. Then we've got the answer of the angels and we've got the romance of the angels. And I will be going into depth with these. Um, usually I say improving health, but I will go deeper into these cards. And they might not resonate to you, like talking to, uh, to heaven. You might not have lost somebody, but this could be a specific message for uh, somebody that is watching. Okay, let's get started. For the first card, we've got career, uh, and that is the pig. Be aware of greed. Be aware of greed. This could be you or somebody else that's greedy, okay? So be careful about greed. And people have the wrong definition of the pigs because the pigs are like dolphins. They're very, very clean and very intelligent. So I just wanted to add that because a lot of people have a misconception of the pigs. And I don't think pigs are greedy. They just eat everything, they're omnivores. So perhaps, you know, the cards are um, sort of more like gypsy because they are the tea leaf cards and the tea leaf cards, uh, they never existed. But this lady, um, uh, her name is Rhea Hepburn. She developed these cards because she could read the real tea leaves and people were asking her, uh, how can I do it? So that's why she made the cards. And I think they're really lovely. If you want to see uh, the, uh, the, the presentation of these cards and you want to get to know them, then go and have a look at the playlist, introducing, introducing cards, okay? Then for the second house, we have happiness and we've got the casket. Well, we know the casket, the coffin, um, in the tarot means transformation, uh, leaving the old behind and beginning anew. And in the tea leaf cards, it says someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Again, in this deck, it means more or less the same. So you're in a transformational situation. Somebody might be leaving you or uh, going out of your life or that might be an end of a situation. Whew. And I, I just had to do that because I felt for somebody or most of you, you think, oh great, there's an end coming to all this. Don't give up, always carry on. And if you are feeling down or in difficulty, 
asked for help, not only from the universe and the angels, but also somebody that's here on earth, like a parent or a friend or a municipality or an institution. There's always somebody there to help you. Don't give up either on that. I know it's difficult to say, but take it from me. Um, there are plenty of people that can help you and advise you. Then we have love and we've got the egg. Now the egg to me means a new beginning, like the coffin, an egg, something is growing. Uh, there's a birth coming. This could be of a child. This could be of a project. And let's see what these cards are saying. Success assured with a good plans and hard work. Like I said, if you are feeling left out or you feel hopeless or you feel depressed and you don't see a way out, because like, imagine it, this is how I read the cards. I imagine I would be stuck in a coffin and I can't breathe. So you are feel sort of closed off. You can't talk, you, you're you isolating yourself. Um, but if you ask for help, then you can have success so long you plan things correctly. It takes time to grow. It's usually nine months um, in the humans and it is about six weeks to nine weeks for animals like birds and dogs and cats. That's nine weeks. And for birds, I think it's six weeks before the egg is hatched. So it could be a month or two before you can actually see the new beginning because it takes time to plan. It takes time to grow and nurture. Nurture your plans. Make sure you ask for help if, um, if, if you can't see a way out, okay? And this could be in love. You might have fallen in love with somebody and you want to nurture that love into a real love, not um, a fling or not an infatuation. So take the egg and as a message that if you plan and proceed gently um, and wisely, you can make this infatuation grow into a real relationship real love. Then we've got success. Success. And you've got target. Bullseye. So somebody is hitting the bullseye today. A goal orient, uh, oriented, oriented person. So a goal. A goal will come true. A dream will come true. Or you could meet with a person from a different nationality. And usually oriented means uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Pakistan, Indian, but I would, I don't like to um, say oriented uh, because you can meet a different person from a different culture. It doesn't really matter. I like to keep my prospects wide. Okay. Then with wealth, we've got the ear. Good news is coming to you about wealth. Perhaps you might win the lottery. You might win a scratch card you might get a loan. So you'll be hearing, most probably through cyber or email, that something that you've invested in has come to fruition. Like I said, make plans, doesn't matter whether it's in love or in business, but success is yours. We've, got, we've also got the bullseye. I don't only look at what the card says, I look what the card says in the picture to me, what feeling I get. So you've hit the bullseye, I, you, you ha there was a fertile time and you planted the seeds, you hit the bullseye and you're hearing about it now. You felt stuck in the past. I know these are per houses as I've put them out, but I also look at the um, general picture of um, the reading. And we began with beware of greed. So something is growing, but you might expect much more than what it really is, okay? This could be in money, this could be in love, this could be in helping a hand. You might expect, if you're moving home, for example, you might expect 12 people to come and help you and only one person turns up. So be careful of greed, okay? Don't want too much. Just be satisfied with what you've got. 
it's difficult sometimes, especially when you've put so much time or something physical, material into it. From the um, heaven, we have, I send you love signs through nature. Yes, this is me sending you signs of my love and presence. I learned how to do this from the angels and from our other loved ones who are here with me in heaven. Together we send you reminders that you are cared for, watched over and protected by us. We've sent you birds, dragonflies, butterflies, flowers, clouds and rainbows. Each time you notice these signs, your body has given you confirmation of who sent them to you. I'm so glad that you are trusting the signs and your body's signals. We are all, we, sorry, we are so concerned that includes our connection through nature. We love you and I love you. So for those who have lost a pet, lost a dear one, that is the message from them today. Then we've got from the answer of the angels, improving health. Okay, improving health. The angels want you to know that the health of the person you asked about is going to improve. You can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery. This card may also be urging you to make more helpful, um, helpful choices in your life. If you're feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow that guidance, your intuition. Removing unhealthy uh, practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. So drink a lot of water today, guys. And that is for everybody um, and if you want to detox or if you want to do something else if your body is saying so do so it will clear your chakras as well go to the playlist the second song on the playlist in music um, is um, a chakra cleaning and uh, cleansing and healing listen to that it's beautiful music just a tip worth waiting for there is love worth waiting for like i said it's an only in the beginning of the stages don't walk on eggshells but be gentle about it take your time about it if you wanted to grow into love it is worth waiting and taking your time and that and they have to take their time no both of you know your boundaries the divine timing is at work in your love life so the universe has brought you together, but the universe is also saying, learn to know your boundaries and to take it slowly so it can grow into something far more than what you realize, but that you do wish for. It's worth waiting for. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my darlings. Please give me the thumbs up and um, I'll be there again tonight. And I hope to see you there. And thank you, my cyber babes. I do love you and I love you. Thank you for your support. I hope I support you in this way in return. I wish you a beautiful day. Take care and be blessed. And give me the thumbs up because together we stand strong. Remember that. Ciao, ciao.